the moment I'm working at the Jupiter Drawing Room and the big project I've been working on at the moment has been the Design and Derby campaign. So we've just wrapped that up. I was basically the in-house illustrator and also one of the designers who worked on the team. Personally, I think going back to study was one of the best decisions I could make. I think it was at a point in my career where I needed to take a little break, maybe just get some perspective again, and I wanted to invest in some dormant talents. Like I hadn't realised I was drawing less and less, so I, I needed to invest in that. I think every creative's journey is different, so there's no formula, you know, what worked for me doesn't necessarily work for somebody else. You don't have to go back to school to learn how to draw, you could just draw at home. I like the structure of, you know, if I'm going to pay for this, I'm going to actually sit down and draw. So I needed something to force, some parameters to force me to actually get stuff done. The amazing thing about studying was after a block of time, I had a lot of work to show for it, which was really rewarding. So I've got, you know, maybe six artist books that I hand bound. I learned how to bind books by hand. I did a lot of drawing. I really feel like all the things I did there are kind of feeding into new things. I think what has changed is technology. Information for my thesis, for example, you could do it all online. Like there was this entire database of things you could just log into from wherever and you had access to that. Whereas the previous time you had to go to the library, order books, it was a really time consuming process to get stuff. And now you have access to anything all over the world. Also the final thesis will get uploaded onto the internet so anybody has access to the research material. I focused on a project for, uh, by Sarah Finelli. She's an Italian-born um, illustrator who works in London and her stuff is amazing. What I love about her, her work is fresh and spontaneous even though she's been working in this industry probably for about 20 years. Her stuff still doesn't feel formulaic, it still feels spontaneous. There's a power in, in narrative and I think African people telling African stories, not what the world expects Africa to be. I think there's like an optimism and a hopefulness that comes with creating things which I think is good for any country and I think creativity maybe comes up with solutions, interesting solutions and maybe more practical solutions than just bureaucracy can.